I thought I was going to like this film, but, uh, uh no, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't like it, I, I thought this movie doesn't seem to be going anywhere, I know some people have compared it to Joker, and Falling Down, and Cuck, and a few other films, which I'm a really great fan of, particularly Falling Down, but, uh, this is not in that same league. This is just essentially watching a guy who probably has some form of autism or uh, mental illness, but this is never explicitly specified, just running around throughout London and causing havoc. I didn't know how to approach the film because in the first 10 or 15 minutes, it looked like it was really going somewhere. Like, I was gripped on my toes. I thought he was going to lash out, and he certainly does. And it definitely has some very interesting moments, but um, I... I after a certain point, I, I was completely lost and just almost like, okay, when is it over? I'm not, I'm not entirely intrigued by this. It just feels like I was watching a bunch of scenes of him trying to get out his cash card and rummaging stuff for our hotel. I think it would probably work better as a short film or like some sort of series of sketches on Chris Morris's Jam or Inside Number Nine. I don't think it quite works as a feature film on its own, so I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I think the better uh, British thriller or horror film about mental illness this year is Censor by Prano Bailey Bond. Good friend of mine um, as well. Um, I think Anil Kadia's uh, Surge, which is not a sort of piss take at Purge. This is a completely different film uh, that doesn't quite work for me the same way. I'm sorry to break it to you. But, um, yeah, feel free to check out Sense if you want to see a film about mental illness or, um, just go see Fallen Down or Joker or Cuck. I know a lot of people hate Cuck, certainly a lot more than Surge, but please do myself a favour, go see that one. It was made by my friend Rob Lambert. Skinny Ebert signing off next time. And just Ben v Wishaw, you were great in it. But, but it was a short film. Just stick to voicing Bear Sweet Marmalade.